Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Henry. And as you may or may not know, this month is Sexual Health Awareness Month. So we're going to be talking about contraception. We're going to be talking about sexually transmitted infections and the importance of having a healthy sexual lifestyle and doing your pap smears. So this week, we're going to be focusing on contraception. Okay, so the first method that we want to talk about is the contraceptive pill. Everybody knows the contraceptive pill. Very common, very available. Some of the advantages of the pill are that the tablets are very small, um, the instructions are easy, easy to follow, and it's a very, very effective method of contraception once it's taken correctly. Taken correctly means you don't miss your pills and you take one pill every day. And the way it works is that it releases hormones into the bloodstream and those hormones prevent you from ovulating, which means prevents you from releasing an egg. Um, some other advantages of the pill are that they usually make your period shorter and lighter and they can help for patients who have pains or significant pain because of the periods. One of the good things about the pill is that it's what we call short acting. So, if you want to go on a method of contraception where you don't want to be, prevent pregnancy for a very long time, the pill is an excellent choice once it's taken correctly. And as soon as you stop taking the pill, then your return to fertility is usually immediate. Right, so next up, we have the Depo-Provera injection, which is this, all right? So your Depo-Provera injection is, again, it's a hormone injection. It's made up of progesterone, which is one of the hormones that the ovary produces. And how it works is that when you get the injection, it releases progesterone into the system, and that again prevents ovulation or prevents the release of an egg. Very, very effective method of contraception, and unlike the pill where you have to remember to take it every single day, with the Depo-Provera injection, you take it every three months. So it's an injection that you get once every three months. It is especially good for patients that have heavy periods and have painful periods because it is used to treat that as well. So that is one of the good effects of it. And it is intermediate acting. So it's not short acting like the pill where you have to take it every day and it lasts for up to three months. So once you're not afraid of injections, it's another good method or a good option for you. So with the depot injections, sometimes in the first three to six months, it can lead to irregular bleeding or irregular spotting. And sometimes there it can cause a little bit of weight gain, so that may be a drawback, but it's best to discuss the method with your medical professional or your doctor before you start. But otherwise, it's another excellent method of preventing pregnancy. So now I want to talk about some of our longer acting methods of contraception. So one of the best methods for contraception for a long acting method is this, which is the cup of tea. So the cup of tea is a form of intrauterine device and it is just a small, I'll take it out for you. It's a small device and it's made of plastic and it has a copper ring that surrounds it. So this is what it looks like, very small. So as you can see, that's why it's called a cup of tea because it's shaped like a tea and it has the rims of copper around it, right? So this little device sits down inside the uterus, so inside the body of the uterus or the womb, this is placed, right? A very simple procedure, it takes probably about five minutes, can be done in your gynecologist's office. And how this works is that it embeds in the uterus and creates an environment that is unfriendly for pregnancy. Now, the intrauterine device, such as the cup of tea, is one of the most effective methods. It's over 99% effective in preventing pregnancy, which is amongst the highest next to sterilization or tiny tubes. Um, so, the cup of tea lasts for up to 10 years. So, for patients who have had children before and they don't want to have any children anytime soon, cup of tea is a perfect choice. So the cup of tea lasts for up to 10 years. If it is, however, that you are desirous of getting pregnant any time before that, then you can simply have it removed by your doctor and your return to fertility again is almost immediate. So the cup of tea is, doesn't have any hormones in it. So there are other intrauterine devices which go in the uterus and those have hormones. So we introduce 
the marina. The marina is a hormonal method of um, contraception and it is an intrauterine device. So it essentially looks exactly like the copper tea in terms of the shape and the size and it works the same except that it now releases hormones. So basically most of the contraceptive methods that you use are hormonal and they just release a, a small amount of hormones in the system thereby preventing ovulation and thereby preventing pregnancy. Again, Marina is very effective in preventing pregnancy over 99% and this one lasts for up to five years. If it is that you desire pregnancy before that, again, you can simply remove the Marina. Um, other ben added benefits of the Marina outside of contraception include helping to lighten your periods and helping to make them shorter and less painful. So an excellent choice again. So another method of contraception are the subdermal implants. So those are the ones that go underneath the skin in the upper part of the arm. So nowadays there are, well, there are different subdermal implants. There are some that have one rod and some that have two rods. And they're basically the size of about a matchstick. Um, those are placed underneath the skin and again, they just release a small amount of hormones in the system and last for varying amounts of time, some for three years, some for five years. Very effective in preventing pregnancy and essentially work as how the others work in terms of preventing ovulation. So that's also an option. So in terms of the procedure for that one, it's a very simple procedure. We clean the skin, you get a small injection to deaden the skin and then we use something to put the two rods under the skin and then once you're ready to remove it, we take it off.